So OpenAI made a bold claim that their latest AI cracked decades old math puzzles, but now we only find out that it was all smoke and mirrors. They deleted a, the text in a hurry and after experts called it foul. So with a lot of years grinding through code and hype waves, I've spotted these moments where promises outpace proof. OpenAI's VP trumpeted GPT-5 solving 10 unsolved Erdos problems, but pros like DeepMind CEO fired back hard. So can we still buy into these flashy announcements or does this expose deeper cracks in how AI breakthroughs get sold? Stick with me because we're going to dissect some of the eye openers of this mess and what it means for OpenAI and how their cracks are really starting to show through. Let's dive into this today. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Pack, we train software developers and build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right, so OpenAI's math claims, well, it crumbled faster under scrutiny, uh, echoing overhyped tech stories that I've navigated before. So we're going to unpack some of the key tech takeaways from this fiasco. Now, as always, make sure you drop your comments down below because I love to hear from you guys. And the biggest compliment I can give is when you guys tell me your thoughts and tell me how much, how dumb you think OpenAI is with this. So let's jump over here and take a look at these ones uh, today. So OpenAI is embarrassing math. So hoisted by their own GPT, uh, yeah. That's how Meta Chief's AI scientist, Jan Lishan, uh, described blowback after OpenAI research did a victory lap over GPT's five supposed math. Thank you, Papa Bats. Google DeepMind CEO said, added, this is embarrassing. The decoder reports that it since deleted the tweet, OpenAI VP Kevin Whale declared that GPT-5 found solutions to 10 previously unsolved Erdos problems. Man, really? Um, and made progress on 11 others. Erdos problems are Erdos problems are famous conjectures posed by mathematician Paul Erdos. However, mathematician Tom Thomas Bloom, who maintains the Erdos problems website, said Whale's post a dramatic misrepresentation while these problems were indeed listed as open on Bloom's website. And he said that only means I personally am unaware of a paper which solves it. So in other words, it's not accurate to claim GPT-5 was able to solve previously unsolved problems. Instead, Bloom wrote GPT-5 found references which solved these problems and I personally was unaware of. So essentially, GPT-5 went out and found somebody else's who had posted some solutions to these problems that that person wasn't aware of. And they then claimed them as saying that it had solved it, when in reality, it actually just scraped some website and regurgitated the information. Because come on guys, this is what regenerative AI does. It's pattern matching and regurgitation at a super fast pace. Now, again, I'm not saying we shouldn't be using AI, everybody's gonna come at me and be like, you just hate AI, that's not it. But I've painted for GPT, like, so they painted GPT-5 as a genius cracking puzzle stumping humans for real. Now, excitement spread quick, hitting the AI, pushing real scientific boundaries. But pros started to question the wording right away. So mathematician Thomas Bloom, who runs the Erdo site, called it a total misread. His open label just means he hadn't logged known fixes yet. So this flipped the narrative from breakthrough to basic search. It's like claiming victory for finding a lost memo on your desk. So Meta's uh, uh, VP of AI quipped that it got hoisted by their own GPT, whatever. I don't really love that word, so I'm not gonna repeat what he's saying here, but this is embarrassing, DeepMind says. So their jabs highlight sloppy communications from a top AI player. It sparked debates over overclaiming in a field chasing billions. So it's funny how big names trip over their own excitement. This ties back to must have skills like clear problem solving, uh, you know, like clear problem solving tech. So Whale scrubbed his post after the heat built up. Others like Bubeck followed, deleting their echoes. This move screamed damage control over owning the mix-up uh, instead of over owning the mix-up. So left, this left folks wondering about transparency in AI firms. Now, in my company, if we make a mistake, we always make sure we work back to try to be transparent as possible with those mistakes. Now, Bubeck clarified that it was all about literal, literal, literal digs, not new solves. He spun up his superhuman search, speeding research, and he admitted phrasing caught in his own necessary confusion, right? So instead of claiming that it, this is like your five-year-old running out and saying that they claimed, uh, you know, that they figured something out when really they just found a sticky note somewhere. So GBT5 shown at, at linked forgotten papers from across the field. So translated old German proofs and it translated old German proofs into modern terms. So this could industrialize math, but by handling tedious hunts, 
And so it could kind of help if you're looking for research, but that's what, uh, what these generative AIs are good for. They're good for research. They're not going to figure out hard math problems. They're not going to be figuring out physics. So there's this hype's hidden cost, and the hidden cost is the overstatement erodes trust in genuine AI process and, and genuine, genuine AI progress. And this makes de developers skeptical of every new announcement. Pressure for funding fuels these rushed claims. So I've seen similar in past tech bubbles, right? Remember the crypto hype where the whole web was going to be rewritten in Web 3.0 and we weren't going to have Web 2 and et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, we've heard a lot of this before. Remember when everything was about cloud computing? For about two years, everything was cloud this, cloud this, cloud this. So you want to avoid the trap of chasing these viral moments. So what we want to do is, you know, AI is great for connecting dots and scattered research, but humans are still needed for verification. And if it comes down to actual problem solving, that's where you're going to have to have a human. You want to build your skills to pair with these tools so that you can work faster using these tools, but don't become reliant on them. Bubeck dove deep into the problems on 1043's hidden fix. GPT spotted a, a mid-paper note experts had overlooked and then translated the link to German and worked seamlessly with it, right? So this is an example where they could have done that and worked with us and said, hey, we made advancements on this paper because of the help of the research that the AI gave us. Instead, they tried to claim that they had solved it using the AI, and this just became blatantly wrong. So this adds to OpenAI's rep uh, for their hype over substance. Now, there's a lot of recent gaffes like Sora rules that have fueled doubts. Industry watches how, these handle, how they handle these fallouts, and smart teams are gonna verify before they amplify. So, one of the things that you always want to make sure you're doing is you're building tools that keep humans in the loop because humans are the ones that can do the problem solving. So the dev takeaway here amid the hype is you want to sharpen your critical eye on AI claims. Use tools to boost, not replace your edge as a human. Focus on fundamentals like debugging. Check hype cycles that come and go and make sure you continue to build on your skills. So you want to stay grounded in real software development th uh, principles so you can continue to thrive for a long time. Now, I also wanna say, we wanna emphasize the honest wins, like the research acceleration that AI is gonna bring. We also wanna pair human insight with machine research, and we wanna avoid over-promising to build real trust because these over-promises erode the trust, which then makes all of us start to pull back from wanting to use AI. The future lies in AI being collaborative with humans. So I've worked with teams and we've had great success building out awesome AI tools for clients. So if we can help your, uh, if we can help your company build some great tools or connect some systems, reach out to us because that's our specialty. Here at Startup Pack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies by helping them connect systems. And here's some great information about our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As your fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect. Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer.